Today we're going to look at some of the capabilities and process for the Carvey Desktop CNC Router. This machine is capable of cutting and carving a wide variety of materials in both 2D and 3D shapes. Today we'll be carving a two-dimensional rocket that will be displayed in this makerspace. We'll do that by using a web-based program called ESOL. The Carvey is designed with safety in mind. Now this really shows with the safety interlock that is connected with the door. When the door is closed, that's the only time that the router can spin up. And when the door is open, it cannot spin up anymore. Now, if you do not set up the Carvey properly with your file, it can break a bit. This can only occur when the lid is closed, but it can still cause damage to the machine and those bit prices can add up over time. Now, the Carvey also does get quite loud as it spins up to 12,000 RPM during cutting, but it is nothing to fear with safety of your hearing or hearing loss. In order to get started, we'll need to load the material into the Carvey, but before we do that, we're gonna to wanna to take some measurements. Using a tape measure, I'll measure the width and height of the mine material, and using calipers, I'll measure the thickness. I'll take those measurements and enter them into easel. With that information, I can begin securing my material to the table. Carvey comes with a wide variety of standoffs and hold downs depending on the size of your project. Today we'll use the short aluminum standoff, the medium length hold down, and the blue thumb screws. The first step in securing material is to secure it under the smart clamp. This is how Carvey will know how tall your material is. Next, I'll use the hold downs around the perimeter of the part to secure my material to the table. Now that the material is secured, we can load our bit in. Today we're going to use a 1 16th fishtail bit. Depending on your project, you may want to use one different than this. Now that the material and bit are properly loaded, let's get to work in easel. Using the measurements that I just took, I'll create a new job and lay out my design. After you have the shapes that you want, you can adjust the depth of individual objects. I'll set these to 0.1 and I'll change the border to cut all the way through. When you cut all the way through an object, you want to add tabs so it doesn't come loose and fly into the bit when it's cutting. Our design is all ready and now I can send it to the Carvey. The interface will walk me through a couple of checks to make sure I loaded everything correctly. We'll double check the setup and then hit Carve. Now that we're done cutting, we can use the vacuum to vacuum up all the sawdust before we remove it from the machine. Now that the mess is all cleaned up, I can remove the material from the carby. Now that we're done cutting, we can take and pop out these tabs or remove them with a utility knife. Now that it's cut loose, we can sand and finish it. 